from different like, different kinds of houses. Yeah. There's three different lines of yeah. violence. That's also why the provincial units were down in Fort Springfield rifles, it was fed from a five round stripper clip. The rounds were stripped off of it as it was inserted into the rifle. Why didn't put the rifle? It wasn't big enough. It wasn't big enough. I'm going to shoot this, so it might be loud. So if you guys want to cover your ears, it's All right? I'm going to yell fire in the hole so all these guys know what I'm about to do. Fire in the hole! Fire in the hole! out of a Springfield rifle. That's what every military in the world was using. 
We're going to compare that to the American M1 rifle. The American rifle held eight rounds, so there's an advantage right there. It's made from an end block clip, which is different than a stripper clip. So the entire clip is inserted into the rifle. Yeah, because I, I took it and I, I left it in the case. Fire in the hole! Fire in the hole! Blanks are rough to keep yeah. it functioning, but uh, you can see the difference in fire. So if you had an American squad armed with M1 rifles, and the sergeant yelled for a base of fire, the amount of fire that you could put down on an enemy position or an enemy force was devastating. The Germans had a very good rifle, possibly overbuilt, held together with screws, and it was so fastidious that the screws are held in with screws so that the screws wouldn't come out. They would serial number the rifle and all the parts such as the sight, the butt plate, parts that really didn't need to be stamped with serial numbers. Even the screws got serial numbers from the rifle. Then they'd slug the bore and stamp that on there as well. That guy that was stamping the boards could probably be carrying ammo at the front line. They might have done better. So you always have to take care of your rifle Ammunition during the Second World War had a lot of salt in it. Salt holds moisture, which causes rust. You have to clean your weapon often. The Americans didn't need everybody to walk around carrying a screwdriver when you could just take it apart by unclamping the trigger. Yeah. Most other weapons you need a screwdriver of some sort. The American rifles, you could take parts out of one and put them in another. They would work perfectly. Who likes submachine guns? Go! It wasn't the Navy Corman. You guys just use straight up a handful of guys in the middle of mud field. Yeah, you have to do it. The tracks come in sections. Yeah, and you have to sort of make it, I guess, in a line. And yeah, I don't know. See these two gentlemen right here? Say hello to the uh, Prime Minister, please. Which one of the batteries last? One battery, the whole bottom, 20 hours. That's it. 
and then they needed another battery. So she's still carrying the battery. They, they kept, other guys carried the batteries. And they called for huge numbers of these batteries in the Pacific because it was so crucial to the communications. And this, there's one image here. There's one image of a Marine on what I'm almost sure is Iwo Jima, that volcanic soil. And he's operating this, you'll notice it's a short antenna, and uh, he's operating a DC-1000. And now after the war, this one went to Italy. It had a label when I got it from the Italian military services. It served in Italy till the 70s, and then it was surplused from Italy. But this was made on December 11, 1944, five days before the Battle of the Bulge began. So it's really quite ancient. I've uh, carefully restored the electronics. But it's not done a perfect job on the cabinet. The Italians painted it 50 times until the paint was like a half inch thick. It was this kind of dirty green. And I got the wrinkle finish back, but I didn't get the color. <laughs> Squad leader. <coughs> the second guy was the machine gunner. His name was Schutz Hein, Schutz number one. He had to be the best marksman in the squad. He had to have the best cool, under fire nerves. Then he had an assistant gunner, an ammo bearer, and then the rest were riflemen. Each rifleman would have two hand grenades. Each man had two of these. And they would carry at least one can of ammunition with 200 rounds. The assistant gunner. <laughs> all the little, all the little holes, you know, here and there. Go out to the camp and just start everything light up. Of course, they are all blanks. They don't have a projectile in them. Uh, so that's always the case. But if you're unsure, 